with Kaido. Um, Yuki doesn't say anything. That's no idea. Yeah, there's no affinity with them. Where's Kaido? Where are we at with Kaido? Zero. Zero. I really look like at that. that. Look at this punk. <laughs> 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 look at this guy. Oh, you believe this guy? Oh, they show up anytime, not just during free actions. Oh, the kids do? No, the, I think the... Oh, the book yeah. things. Gotcha. You are right, because we can get a fanny with him. I'm going to spend it on someone that I can only do it with. Yeah. Be fine with the end of the year coming and so many media things for me to watch and play. Yeah, I mean, I it sucks when you feel that way, but I mean, I I can't really give any advice because some I really struggle like making friends with people and like going out and talking to people. Not as much as Ian does, I think. You like to stay at home way more than me. I well, okay, when I go out, unless it's with people I really like, I would much rather go somewhere where I don't have to talk. Um, but be in a public space. Like, I like being in a cafe with my headphones in, and my book and writing and stuff is happening around me, but I'm not forced to talk. Yeah, I'm just laughing because sometimes you say things and I'm like, damn, I just gave your attributes to the main guy in my book that I'm writing. Hell yeah. <laughs> I am the love interest and you will never be free. <laughs> on the room <laughs> I think it depends on the room because I think here's what my personality is if everybody in the room is less extroverted than me I will be extroverted but if there's somebody in the room who's more extroverted I will step back and I will let them be the extroverted one yeah yeah so it depends on like I said, who I am in the room with. I think, honestly, with my friend group here, I might be the most social out of all of us, just because everybody else is kind of a loner. Like, it's just Ian fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> that's all it is. It's just Ian fan fiction. Um, but that's like one of the reasons I John and I got along room. really well, because John's very good like at maintaining a conversation and driving it forward. Like, sometimes I'll get into conversations with people, and I'll be like, they'll say something, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, that's like this thing, blah, blah, blah. And then we'll both like look at each other after I'm done saying whatever I've said. And I'll be like, cool. It's so cute. You like to, you, I love how you talk about stuff. Though. And then the conversation <laughs> just ends there. And I'm like, I see it, yeah. Because sometimes she'll, they'll say something and then you'll be like, you know, that reminds me a lot of this thing that Kant said. And then you'll like think <laughs> of like a philosophical thing and they'll be like, Okay. <laughs> like, how do I respond to that? <laughs> you don't know what to do. Well, they should get smarter. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> but yeah, talking to kids is just karma up on whatever karma route you're on. I'm crying. <laughs> um, actually, I don't know if you saw it earlier, I posted a scale, and it was like philosophers on the oh, list from punk to not punk, and yeah. Kant is like at the bottom. I was he gonna, is extremely not punk. I was gonna share it with you, because I was like, I wonder if Ian thinks it's true, and then I was like, oh, Ian's the Did one who Did you see the it. comments on it? No. Leo was like, move marks down and move angles up, and I'll maybe agree. I didn't and even then, really look at it And then, um, who else, someone else commented, it was like, oh, it was, uh, um, Ben, and Ben was like, you can move Ayn Rand down. Because Ayn Rand fucking sucks. Yeah. I, I hate Ayn Rand. See, I know, I know enough to know that. Ayn so. Rand is dead, and they're still not dead enough for yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna talk to Kaido now. Anyway. <laughs> What's taking so long? Yeah. I'm working on letting everyone know. Besides, you said you wait until noon. I'd rather not be waiting at all. It's, okay, so Harmony and I were talking about drawing pupils earlier. I'm really interested in this boy's eyes, because they're gray, black, and then like a really intense shiny. Yeah, there's like a light But like, the, it's it's them. cool how they, like the pupil, the eyes, I guess the people have gray eyes, but that's like intense. Yeah. Don't try to rush people too much. All that stuff with Ryo hit everyone harder than I'd realized. Yeah. 
I didn't realize seeing a child sucked into the shadow realm by demonic noodle arms you know, fuck would everybody hit them up. hard. Yeah. Makes sense to me. They probably all realize the same thing could happen to any of them. It's not so easy to get over something like that. Until last night, none of us fully realized just how dangerous this place could be. Probably deep down, none of us thought we'd actually die. We thought we'd be rescued. Mew's out there right now on her own in a dangerous place like this. Mew, I can help. What am I doing? I don't have time for this. Hey, wait, are you just gonna go charging out there again? Think about what happened yesterday. We can't let the same thing happen to Mew. I'm going even if it has to be alone. It's like you haven't learned anything. Kaido, wait. No, I've waited long enough. This is bad. He might actually leave. I need to convince him to stop. It has to be good or he won't listen. Do we say we need his help or do I try to stop him by force? Can we hear her? Yeah, she went. Murp. She snooted. All right, Kaido. Is he in the peel? Persuade or tackle him, kind of guy. Um, I I would say I think uh, persuade is what we've been trying to do, and it didn't. I seem don't to think be this is the right one. I I think by force. But I also kind of think he's stronger than us. <laughs> you I kick our ass. Sense. I kind of get the sense he would just beat us up and leave. So uh, appeal for help seems like the most neutral to me. Let's try it. <laughs> Kaido, if you go, you're putting us in danger too. We need to stick together. I don't see what difference having one less person in the group makes. Was it the whole problem yesterday that we didn't work together? Uh, well. In a world where anything could happen, we could use all the help we can get. I don't know how much help you think a hothead could be. Grandma's like, I like your drawings your mom showed me. And then my mom was like, so what's going to happen next? And the whole room got quiet and everyone looked at me. Oh, no. That's like when my sister is at a family event and they're like, so tell us about your acting career. And then they all like go quiet and look at her. And I'm like, oh, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. That's when you like accidentally like drop a cup and break it to distract. Yeah. Well, now I can just talk about my erratic, erotic Ian fanfiction. No, I prefer I prefer erratic Ian <laughs> fanfiction. Fuck erotic. No, I want that's to, real life. I want it to just be me in situations no. I would never be in in normal situations. That's real life. Like, it, like I, you know, it'd be like if you roll the carousing table and put me in it. Okay. You wake up outside the city gates with a dragon egg. What do you do? <laughs> that's that's a whole book. <laughs> yep. He's stubborn, short-tempered, and totally focused on Mew. Shut up. <laughs> Look, the important thing is we shouldn't split up. Please. Alright, you don't have to beg me like that. Besides, I would have more help looking for Mew. Guess having help would make things easier. Oh, zoom in. Thanks, Kaido. <gasps> it went from zero! Hell yeah. Yeah, sure. What's this? Your face is turning red. Can you be our love interest? I love him. It is not. <laughs> Let's all work together. You're right, Takuma. Thanks. I'm sorry. Kylo tends to act without thinking. Shut up. <laughs> Alright. Hi! Everyone's probably in the cafeteria. I should head back. Alright, squad's all here. They do kind of look like the madness and soul leader. You're right, you're right. Oh, good, you're all here. Sorry, I'm talking about his shit at a mini crew. Cross, huh? No, she's still working on Icona. John Saki Madari, Kore to Nayan de Taxinica. I just realized that Falcomon's fur is collar. Sorry, I'm not so far off. Miniru was pretty upset before. It looks like he's in better shape now. Not to mention the others. Shimpai Bakari Kakate Komene. What does she more die job? Yeah. I mean, he's holding it together pretty well, but every once in a while we have to be like, pull it together, man! Akuma's <laughs> like, my, that's my dad. Hmm. Listen, Shuji, if you put up an argument, I'm gonna I'm gonna beat you with Lapmon. Alright, 
I'll listen to whatever you have to say, Kaido. I don't want to be able to kill everyone for all of us. But... Sorry. Wow, really? That Kaido is smart, right? He's growing. Inoru, chakas na. It's like a little dirt on the screen that's driving me nuts. It's a little speck of dirt right in the middle. How did that even get there? When I had to one of those lacking allergy pills. Yeah. Everyone's really upset right now. Sometimes Minoru can go too far. そうよ。私たちみんな、ミオを助けに行くつもりだったもの。むしろ、謝るのは私たちの方かも。一刻も早く助けに行きたかったはずなのに、集まるのが遅くなってごめんなさい。いや、昨日のこともあったからな。You guys can't see Gizmo, but Rani and Gizmo are having a moment right now. そういうわけだから、みんな手を貸してくれ。あ、もちろんだ。ちょ、ちょっと待ってくれ。Shut up! You're not in charge here anymore. You failed. You better say that you agree. Lotman, head bottom. Yeah, head bottom. First of all, he's wearing black pants with brown shoes. He's committed a sin. He gets no say. Ian, the flat fashion police is here. どういう意味だよ。そのままの意味だ。チュジ。化け物の敵に正体不明の霧。その危険性は。昨日十分に味わったはずだろう。両と同じように。もしかしたら彼女も。Okay, Shuji. I don't think we need that kind of. なんてこと言うの、Shuji さん。Yeah, seriously, Shuji. I know. Fuck off. 僕は客観的な意見を言っただけだ。Okay, well, we don't need that right now. 助からねえってのが客観的な意見だっていうのかよってね。Yeah, you tell him. 暴力はやめろよ。ハルとミユキもいるんだぞ。怖い。怖い。怖い。悪い。けど、そいつの言ってることだけは認められねえ。僕は。I just realized Fire Force season three should be soonish. Oh yeah. I saw that they announced the official release date of the next part of Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, did they? In February next year, I think it was. Which I don't know if they had announced that before. That was the first time I had seen it. Was today, so. Yo, Kaido is coming for Shuji. Get him. Freedom is rights. No, keep going, Kaido. You kind of are. A show that it, if you didn't watch, you'd be an entirely different person. I mean, Seinfeld for sure, but I honestly think going into my twenties when I was like watching How I Met Your Mother live, um, that like shifted my mindset not from like. Doing stuff, but like, like the big adventure of life, like, like, cause how I met your mother, you know, he's telling you a story that has an ending, and he's like partially through the episodes, he's like talking to you, like kids. That's why you should always pay attention to like your friends and stuff like this. And I feel like I like, despite the toxicity that happens in that show, because it came out in like 2000, there's like really powerful learning moments too. Also, Naruto is a really good answer. Naruto is a really good answer. It was like Dragon Ball for me, because I watched Dragon Ball live on Konami. I'm trying to... Uh, now, because I was trying to think of something that I like really liked during my formative years, right? When I was like younger. And I know that this is going to look bad, because I can't remember the name of the show. <laughs> but the what was the one with the beagle that went through time? And he like went into he different stories? He wasn't a beagle... 
He was a Jack Russell Terrier, oh, you're right. he was and a his Jack name Russell was Terrier. Wishbone. Put Wishbone. some respect on his goddamn name. <laughs> to Wishbone. <laughs> I was gonna it say. It came on right before Redwall. Because I think that it really got me interested in a lot of history yeah. and like English literature What's the story, and Wishbone? yeah, like that kind of thing. I, I was trying to think of something from like I would have watched when I was pretty young, and it would have like inspired there was also the one show that had where it was like the guy and then i think it was like he there, i think there's like a wishbone Wh that was the name of the show it was wishbone yeah um and he had like this big shaggy dog and they did like all the greek myths mm. you remember that show i'm trying to remember like they did like icarus and You're making ingredients me feel old. <laughs> um, but I think I think Wishbone, because it like I said, it really got me into like a lot of historical things. Yeah, yeah. And like researching that at a very young age, and uh, I think that was part of what spurred my. Yeah. You know, no, like so. This is there's two two lines I wrote in my journal once, and one. I, I, cause the main character in Wishbone is named Joe Talbot. Oh, no, the type. <laughs> Joe Talbot. Um, I used to love the Wishbone Mysteries mm. books. But, um, one time in my journal in, like, high school, I, like, remember describing myself for a class assignment as, like, an ethnic Joe Talbot. You're making me feel <laughs> old. <laughs> okay. Um, and then, uh, I also once wrote a line in my journal that was, um... I was thinking about Wishbone, and I wrote, like, doesn't it make you sad to realize that most of the dogs you knew are dead? Oh. And I was like, Wishbone! Wishbone! It came out before you were born? When did it come out? Yeah, we're old. I feel like with you, Harmony, we've got 1995. that... We've okay, got... Yeah. yeah, that's the same year my sister was born. You're an 80s baby. Okay. Um, we're 92. Yeah, we're 90s babies. Um, okay. Well, I'm 92, you're 91. Yes. Um, har With Harmony, we're right on the edge of, like, things had just started to change, like, th like when Harmony was born. Like, mm. like, some of the stuff that we saw just barely didn't make it to you. You're right, yeah. I loved Wishbone. Oh, I love Wishbone. Oh, was great. The Redwall books are some of my favorite things ever, but the Redwall TV show... Redwall... It's one of those things where, like, if I can feel myself getting, like, really cold towards reality, I usually read a Redwall book because they, like, make me feel, like... Some type of way. <laughs> like, love for the world again, I guess? Mm. Or, like, just the, like, the optimism of, like, you know, li living. Mm. Um, I do the same thing with Schindler's List, to be honest. Oh. Because I remember when we watched that movie in class... Um. Yeah, on online it said it was only run. It only ran from ninety five to ninety seven. No, oh, I didn't okay. know that. So I must have also watched reruns of. Wish yeah, it used to be on thing. PBS all the time. They make you feel feelings. Yeah. yeah. But in like Schindler's List, incredible movie. Uh, you know, terrible. Uh, tragic events. But I remember watching it in class in like an AP uh, history class and it was like me, Leo, Peter, like all of our friends and we're watching this movie that's like, you know, a dramatization of a real person's life and like I think some of the kids were laughing at like the nudity and stuff because they were, they had to like kids release, just don't know how to react, they had to release yeah. that like horrifying emotion mm. somehow but I was just like really disgusted by them like, the way they were acting in class. Yeah. And I remember, like, you know, sometimes I'll watch Schindler's List despite it being brutal. It's four hours long. It's long, and it's sad. But, like, it, like, reminds you that, like, like, I think it's, you should never be, like, you can't feel bad as people who don't have food or whatever. But, like, you can, it is useful sometimes to be, like, I have a place to sleep. Get some perspective. Yeah. Yeah. Some, like, extreme perspective. Mm-hmm. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, I Yo, like- Yo, Zabumafu! With Zabumafu the Craft Brothers! Zabumafu is so good! I love 
a boo boo food. Walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something a strange. A little beeping lemur who liked to bounce and play. <laughs> I am not a coward. <laughs> I am not a coward. <laughs> Maybe a hot head like you can't see it. I think. Honestly, Yo, did you watch Read Between the Lions? Huh? Did you watch Read Between the Lions? Mm -hmm. So Read Between the Lions came out around the same time Wishbone, and it was a similar show, but it was all puppets. Like it was mm -hmm. like Jim Henson style puppets, and they would like do like Wishbone stuff with puppets. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, hold on, let me look it up. Read Between the Lions. Yeah. Said? Someone's gonna watch this video on YouTube and be like, why the fuck are they talking about Wishbone while Shuji and oh, Kaido are about to This This does look pants. familiar, but this I, I think I have seen the show, but I didn't remember it. <laughs> Reading Rainbow and Magic School Buster Classics. Reading Rainbow, was I was gonna say Reading Rainbow, but I was like, I think Wishbone my, was My like... favorite streamer talks a lot about how he's watching Magic School Bus with his daughter now, and there's some straight up horrifying episodes, like the one where they go to space, and Arnold takes off his helmet and just like dies in space, and then they just bring him back to life. <laughs> Trying to find the other show that I was thinking about. Oh, Carlos! <laughs> also, the Magic Scuba theme song, cruising down on Main Street. All those syncopated beats were like oh, cruising down on Main it. Street. You're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you see, octopus in the neighborhood. Climb on the Magic School. Yeah, this is it. The Storyteller. I have no idea what that is. Uh, it was great. So the Storyteller was another TV show, and it was like this old guy, and he had this like little dog that was a puppet so it could like talk to him, and each episode they did like a different, uh, I, I guess they did more, oh it was a Jim Henson show. Makes sense. Um. I guess they did more than just Greek mythology. I guess they did a bunch of historical stuff, but I remember the Greek mythology episodes. Uh, especially the Icarus and Daedalus one that they did. So right. This just dredged up a really... I think this might be a really, really, really oh, okay. Western New York specific memory. Do you remember Buffalo and Brandy? No. That sounds familiar, but I don't want to say yes because I don't. I don't think I know. know what it is. I I know they at least went to Chicago once, mm. but they were like a singing duo that would go around the schools and like doctor um not doctors offices like libraries and stuff like that, and they would do like like silly songs for kids mm. and like like they were like educational but also funny and they would do like that like fee five banana song and like pe people's names in it and stuff okay i don't remember them but... um and they were really cool and i remember i know they went to chicago at least once because we went on a track trip to chicago and they were in our hotel oh and my friend bob like broke into our bedroom and he was like fucking buffalo and brandy are here we were like what okay <laughs> I don't know if anyone else knows who the hell they are. But... Uh, everybody who's watching, we're gonna get through this scene eventually. Yeah. Don't worry, we're just reminiscing about childhood. <laughs> 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 also, I feel like every kid in this scene is having a competition about who can be the most responsible, and it's just like... <laughs> yeah. You have no idea how much responsibility goes into being a big brother. I'm gonna print this screen out and send it to Nolan. Okay. Yeah, dumbass. Can we side with Kaido this time? I mean, not everybody is fighting, it's just Shuji, honestly. This just gave me an idea. So, like, I was thinking about reading Rainbow, and I was like, what if we took famous children's TV show hosts and, like, gave them Digimon. Well, who would their Digimon be? <laughs> who would LeVar Burton have as a Digimon? Um... I know I should stop this argument before Bob it goes Ross on much longer, is. but how? Oh, he would have that one that paints. Oh, yeah, there's a painting one, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. Should I start with Kaido? Respect Shuji's opinion. Okay, let's read it carefully this or time. Or try to enlist help from somebody else. And make sure that we side with Kaido. 
God, this is. What's the best way to stop this fight? I mean, I would side with Kaido, but I feel like if we enlist Gigi-mon. everybody's help, they will also side with Kaido. But I'm also scared that Shuji yelling is going to have swayed some of them. Yeah. Right? So I would side with Kaido, but wrathfulness.君はここにいる全員が再び危険な目に遭ってもいいというのかそうじゃないですけどこのまま放っておくわけにはもし僕たちが行かない選択をしても変えちゃいますよ。His I follow like 80 NASA pages. How have I not heard anything about this? Oh, NASA's spacecraft to collide with asteroid event to be aired live. The Her Hera spacecraft will rendezvous with the asteroid system to examine the aftermath of a collision. Okay, so it's 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 a scientific like the way in my head that was phrased is every movie on Earth is like an asteroid about to hit Earth. How do we make it move? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Look at that cocky face. I know, right? Okay, so I don't know if that means we have to ジュージさん、カイトとドラクモンだけ行かせるんですかまあ、ディパイファンドホリーベルズ Jana, or I could No! Kaido, okay, no, no! This is your fault, Shuji. That's not what I wanted. Shuji, Sambo, Kaido, Kumo, Ika, and Oh, I'm finally Aoi stepping up. Aoi, Kumo, 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 it's a test for future planetary defense. Kind of weird to think about, though. I guess that is something that well, we don't really so think about. One of the scariest things, in my opinion, in space is called rogue planets. And they're planets that, for whatever thing, like a meteor hit them, they got too close to another large mass, and it takes them out of their orbit around their star. Mm, so so like they're just... Floating. so. Planet sized celestial bodies floating without any pattern. Oh, no, in space. yeah. So, like, you know, there could live, and we won't ever know about them until you can see them on at least the James Webb telescope. Right. And by then, they're way too fucking close. Yeah. Like, I mean, they're still thousands of years away at that point, mm -hmm. but. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're just like, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize Aoi could get so loud. He's like, but that's why I was gonna leave by myself. A bomb can go off in space. Yeah. Can. Yes. Um, there, I mean, the big difference is, uh, there's no, no, almost no molecules in space, so you're not going to hear it go off, and I think... And then the debris would have nothing to stop it, so it would just, just keep, keep going, going and going and forever. going and going yeah. until it hits something. So, like, if you blow something up that you don't want to keep going, you want to pulverize it, you don't want to just blow it up into little pieces. Mm. Because there's no, they would actually start moving faster because there's already no gravity, mm -hmm. no friction. 
Or if you blew them up small enough that when they entered our atmosphere, they would burn up. They would get before they hit. Video, yeah, which most meteors do. Mm-hmm. I think Aloy should throw hands. あれ。なんか急に葵の声がちっちゃくなった。いや、もうだな、葵。Wow, she made Kaido apologize. <laughs> yeah. Some guys fl floating around in space with a golf ball. <laughs> I mean, like, that's a real problem. Is like if you were in the spacewalk in a suit, um, and something hits your spacesuit, even a tiny rock, it's probably moving fast enough to go through your body. Hmm. Yeah. They also recently found that people who spent even minor amounts of time in space seem to have mutations. Mm. Like, like that were going to become, like, change probably like their children. Yeah. Also, my friend pointed out to me recently that the reason rich people are uh, hyperfixated on getting into space is not only because they want to be able to escape once the Earth is fucked over by wasteful use of resources. No taxes in space, because there's no laws about that yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Tentomon. What happened to him? He, I'm assuming he went to find Mew. テントモンがキラキラしたとこって言ってたやつだよな。ドシャイニーポイス。キラキラしたところ。なんだか素敵。ほぼ間違いねえよ。あいつは昔から遊園地で間違いないのか。ほぼ間違いねえよ。あいつ
ところで遊園地への行き方ってわかるかしら Mall of America, a few art museums. I don't know why. I would, I, like, the Mall of America means nothing to me. I mean, except that. A Is lot it of, just a big mall? Yeah, it's a huge mall.、Oh, But, okay. Um, a lot of, like, uh, uh, right, people on the right are like, the Mall of America is a symbol of American power. And I'm like, is it? All right. That's、um, kind of sad. Um, but art galleries, I'm always in. Yeah. The biggest mall. Because、though. I remember a couple weeks ago I said Mall of America and Ronnie was like the one in Georgia and I was like, no, the real think, one. Well, because we were just there for Dragon Con. It's it? It called the Mall something, right? Yeah. The Mall of something. So、yeah. I thought it was that. But, but I was like, no, the real one. <laughs> you have a fake one here. <laughs> The forest in red. I mean, I'm always down to go to a museum, so. Yeah? We just got that envelope from the high. Oh, really? That's why I didn't throw it out, because I was like, what? They, I guess they're having some kind of sculpture thing, it looked like.、Mm, that would be cool. Sculptures. Yeah. No. I don't know. They have burgers you can have brought to your seat. We went to a theater like that. Remember, there was a movie yeah, show that we, we had. Yeah, we did. It was 1918. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. That was pretty, that, really that was good, pretty nice. Yeah, good theater.、Yeah. Uh, incredible movie. Yeah. Harry Styles is. No, that's not the one Harry Styles is in. Benedict Cumberbatch is in that one, and no one think, knew. Harry Styles think, is in Dunkirk. Oh, you're right. I was like, I think he is in that, but then, no, I don't think he is. Did I create my own version of the Chris Pine meme right now? <laughs> just stare out into the middle distance. Just like, you gotta look like you hate your life. Yeah. Like, like, more. More like you hate your life. <laughs> Studio Movie Group. Oh, no, yeah, I don't remember what the one we went to was called. I mean, it might have been that. I think that's a chain, so. So. What was Miyuki's always kind of strange. Sometimes Haru just seems off. Like, I suddenly say something mature or act like he's seen through things. Georgia has a state fair. Yes, we do have a state fair. It's at a big racetrack here,、uh, like south of the city. Is he not aware of himself? Like I said, I've never been to the Erie County Fair back home either, and I've always wanted to go. I, always, I really wanted to go the one year Victorious was there just because I was like, at least it's like a big name. I think the fair back home is better than the fair here. Like, I don't know, maybe I just have rose colored glasses when I think about it because I went when I was younger. I have never went as an adult, right? So. But I went to the Georgia State Fair as an adult. Yeah. So. <laughs> Mm. 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 Alright, Gizmo. I gotta move my legs. Alright, we're walking. I gotta spread out. Here we go. I think it's only 8 o'clock. I feel like it's been way longer. Yeah? Stream, like, I feel like we've done a lot in the game, too. It just feels like I feel like we've been streaming for a long time. We've just been talking to everybody. Yeah. She is slightly creepy. creepy. I assume it's from some sort of trauma or something that she experienced. I don't know. 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 Yeah, shut up, nerd. I don't know. 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 Martha's cookies, a big bucket of hot chocolate chip cookies.、Ooh. They overflow, and you get a big thing of milk with lime. It's like an hour wait. I mean, I'd wait an hour for that. Yeah. I'd wait an hour for a big bucket of cookies with some milk. That sounds delicious. Sounds like a good band name. Big bucket of cookies. With some milk. That's、yeah. the album. Yeah, they like, every <laughs> album would be like with milk, with water. <laughs> okay. So, I'm not going to be hungry. I'm not going to be h u n g I know! He's so mean to this beautiful creature. 
Chuji, you're making everybody exhausted with your bullshit. Her eye color scares me. The red? Yeah. It censored bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it didn't do it that time. <laughs> Interesting. Weird. I wonder why it did it one time and then the same time. <laughs> On the road again. I think love is fine to be with my friends. I'm trying to think if the Georgia State Fair had any food that was like specific to the state. I don't think that they did. Trash bags online, the biggest thing at the fair for food at least. There's also a butter sculpture competition. I feel like I've heard of uh, that before. Yeah. Um, I think the, I mean, the weirdest, like, fair food or, like, snack food, I think, in the self that I found is those freaking boiled peanuts that are everywhere, and I'm like, why do you want to eat these boiled peanuts? I mean, I like boiled peanuts, so I'm not waiting in line for them. I never, well, I, do we have them up north? I never remember seeing them. They got them in, like, gas stations yeah. here. And it's, it's, like, everywhere. ね、たくま。本当にこのままでいてていいのかな。たくま。そう言われると僕もちょっと不安になってきたかも。ぶっちゃけ、あの、ね、ケープ。ね、キープメイキングミーピックビトゥインディスティル。オーディウィトゥ
Oh no. Oh my god. I hate him so much. You know, Ryo was bad, but at least he wasn't just straight up rude to Kumon. Yeah. He was kind of like, you to scare me. Yeah. Sounds like even Shuji starting the waiver. Should we stop for a break or press on? Obviously, stop for a break. Yeah, it sounds like he said yeah, buddy. Oh, I don't know what he said. I don't know what he said. It's like when you have like a, a little dog and you've walked like four miles and the dog is like, I've walked eight. It just goes like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like flops onto the ground. Nothing scary. We do have to worry about Guru Ruman popping up. True. He showed up in that cutscene. But I did get the sense from him that he's someone we could turn. Yeah, like to join us. Yeah. Well, we're, he was in the opening cutscene with Haru and Miyuki. I feel like he's one of theirs. Oh, maybe. And like maybe something happened that like, turned him against them. Yeah. Where are they gonna rest? They're gonna walk off by themselves and find their own spot? She's already sleeping, so. いや。目を閉じたまま歩いてるな。幼い二人にはさすがに過酷すぎる道のりだっただろうか。かもな。でも、置いてくわけにはいかなかったし。過酷といえば、あっちも見たいだけど。<laughs> Zoom in on the baby! <laughs> Look at the little baby! Shuji, sorry. Oh my god. Say something nice to him. Say something nice to this sweet little angel. Oh my god! <laughs> no! He's tiny. You could just carry him on your shoulder, Shuji. That's I, uh, what I would do. In, in the movie, uh, Terrier Man. Rides on Davis's head and puts his ears out so Davis has not Davis Willis has shade. Yeah. And then the carrier man doesn't have to walk. Sounds like he's still gonna have it rough between here and the amusement Aww. park. I'd better get some rest. I I Chuji not only is his like argumentativeness in the group making him kind of unlikable, but the way that he's treating his Digimon just makes him like horrible. Yeah. It was like if you saw somebody yelling at their dog and being like, You're stupid! You're so stupid! I'd be like, I hate you. Yeah. Like... I know they're on break, maybe I should talk to them. Shuji, you clean your act up. Well, I'll talk to you! <laughs> so sad! A large iron bridge has been built between the mountains. Seems odd to me. There shouldn't be any roads for cars to travel on. Minoru. Ooh, lemon cake. Ooh. Yeah, enjoy. Yeah, enjoy. I, that sounds perfect, honestly. A little bit of lemon cake and bean pup cat. Sounds like it goes yeah. really well together. Alright. Start with Shuji. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm glad you like it. Well, okay, so Shuji. Uh huh. Or do we talk to Minoru and then maybe we're gang up on him about <laughs> Lopemon? <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> Or my little heart, I mean. Bye. No, you gotta do the zoomer heart. No, I'm doing the little heart. The K-pop heart. Hey, what do you think was going on with that Aru Kenimon yesterday? She called us sacrifices, so she's an enemy. Good question. By the way, why is it that Falcomon and the others are on our side? Seems like some monsters like Agumon and Falcomon are friendly. Yeah, exactly. Blink. So weird. 
Yeah. Others are willing to help us even if they don't want to be friends like Pentamon, and some are obviously enemies. They're all monsters, it's weird. You think so? I mean, even with humans, some people are good and others are bad. I bet it's the same with monsters. In other words, some monsters like us are are like us, others don't, and still others don't want to use us. Put it like that, I guess it makes sense. Okay, so he's not gonna help us gang up on Shuji. Talking about something bothering you? Yeah, you're Maybe bothering you should spend me. spend time with Lopemon right now. <laughs> not necessary. Seems like his legs are really hurting him, doesn't that bother you? So his <laughs> stupid little legs hurt. So what? He's a monster. He'll get over it. I literally think that if this guy, if I was in this situation having this conversation with him, I might actually slap him in the leg. Stupid things. Nothing but a burden anyways. He can't do anything useful like Agumon or Pokemon. Why did I get stuck with a lousy monster like him? It's not How fair. dare you say that? Sounds like Shuji might need more time before he's ready to No, it enough. sounds like Shuji is a dick. Yeah. Oh, Aoi. Hey, you go yell at Shuji. He seemed to listen to you. I wanted to thank you for what you did this morning. I don't remember doing anything special. Sure you did. You tried to cheer me up along with Saki and Lavermon, remember? Only I couldn't seem to stop crying. It was kind of embarrassing, honestly. No, it's fine. I mean, I was feeling pretty bad about this morning, too. I've just been trying to focus on what needs to get done. See that? And right now, our top priority is to find Mew. Yeah. I've been wondering, though. Yesterday, Tentamon said Mew ran to the shiny place? But are we sure that's really the amusement park? Why not? Sometimes Labramon and the others use unique language which has me worried. That's true. I don't think this is like that though. I mean, we saw the Ferris wheel ourselves. You're right. It's probably I've probably been overthinking things. Hmm. I don't know. She brought it up, so now yeah. I'm worried. So, 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 so. Let's grab my water button. Okay. We've only been sitting for five minutes! Oh, really shouldn't stop for much longer than this. But has everyone gotten enough rest? Saki, Miyuki, and Lopemon all seem pretty exhausted. I'm most worried about Lopemon. Because I, I, I do want to say that, but she's just going to be a dick. Is he tired? He's facing psychological warfare, verbal abuse yeah. from his Digimon trainer. Like, I'm pretty sure you two are dead. I mean, Saki is probably fine. Miyuki is like a ghost lady. I don't know. She's probably okay. She like sacrificed herself in she, the beginning. She can sleep standing up, so whatever. Lopemon is who I'm worried about. Lopemon said his legs are sore. I think I saw tears in his eyes. That concerns me. But let's... Let, how about we carry Lopemon? Yeah, I'll carry him. Can we do him. that? I don't believe you, Lopemon. Shuji... Like, you, can you see an adorable little Digimon like that? You're gonna yell at it? No. No. What? It feels like there should have been more talking yeah. there. Agumon, kill! <laughs> Sick him! <'em. laughs> little Ruben is hard. hard. <laughs> I don't I think I'm worried about you, Lopan. Shuji is as demanding as ever, but it does look like we can get moving. Why are you like this? Well, you know what? Actually, what I just thought, if we had picked maybe like Saki, maybe Shuji would have been concerned and like actually stopped, you know, rather than. I don't like that you... This is why I don't think we should let age determine who the yeah. leader is. Because he is not fit to be the leader. But because he's older, we picked him. Well, he's also like the class rep, isn't he? I don't fucking care. Yeah. <laughs> that just means he brown noses to the teachers. It doesn't mean he's a good leader. Ha <laughs> <laughs> We made it. あの木々の向こうに見える建物が。あんなに大きな建物、僕見たことな
Don't worry, we're gonna amuse you there, Lopman. You deserve it. Hog! There it is. I guess that is shiny. Oh can't have one moment of peace with this man. Yep. Just kill him. Don't apologize. He's not even listening. It doesn't even matter. He's like vibrating with rage. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Kaido. We got your back, man. Damn, why are you coming for Minoru? I know. Oh, man, Jan, most of you, you went to die. Most of me, 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 Dreamland. Brand new. It looks kind of worn down to me. But I know. More I don't than know. school. The school only really looked creepy because it had a Dokumon living yeah. in it. Yeah. Dokumon. Doshite, doshite. Doshite, doshite. Yeah. ゆうえんちそのものが怖いわけじゃないんだよ。たっ。いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや
僕たちみんなで一緒に元の世界に帰るんだいいね He's like trying to keep people alive by sheer force of will. Yeah, Shuji, I'm pretty sure we all got that. Shuji, <laughs> Palamon, Palmon, and Bird over, uh, Bird, no. Bioman. Hello? Huh? Are they like working with Mew or something? What? A new Pokemon? I don't know. I don't know. Little babies. Little rookies. Haha. <laughs> They are pretty cute. Leverbot's like, how dare! It just slipped out. Leverbot's like, you cheating on me? I can see why that would be her initial reaction, but what are these things? Oh, what the heck? Her Majesty the Queen. That's gotta be Mew. Warumono to ka, Joe Sama to ka. Nan no hanashi? Tenzen mo konno yo. Shirabak kure de mo dame da kara na. Matte yo. Boku tachi wa warumono nan ka ja nai yo. Agman, talk sense into them. Warui monster te kiite ru yo. Out with the kidnappers. Out with the kidnappers. This is like the kind of anime oh comedy boy. that only works in anime. I mean, they are angry, I guess. Yeah. They're like, get the fuck out of here. You came to the wrong neighborhood, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't kidnapped. These are trustworthy creatures who mean you no harm. A council of war. Oh boy. Summon the council. Now they're arguing about something, they don't seem like they're all that bad. The oh. ghost, ghost children. I was like, two little children? Who are you talking about? They're like, oh, she's just tired. She's just sleeping. <laughs> They're just like that. That's <laughs> Our wise and invincible sorceress of a queen would not speak wise. Oh, 
死にされるってもしかして脅されてるんじゃ何それだとしたら女王様の方が悪者じゃ<笑> Well, I mean, she did just like run off into the woods, right? Mew is the chaotic one. Mate, yo. So it's like they were seeing you on a chicago, what they look up. So, so yo. Nakama no story, I score on that. Oh, what? 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 Excuse me? Okay, how did she trick them? What could, she, what could she have done to like trick them? I feel like. I don't know. I don't know what this little kid could have thought of. Tony Kaku, so no Joe Samani, I was at the grid. Yeah, oh my, that she knew Saladilla. What does that you got on that? Go, okay, like a maybe she has special Digimon powers. Yeah, or it that you got Joe Samo set to Xunari, Nanda Tara Taos. Maybe there's like an animatronic that she like turns off and on. Yeah, something like like a little robot. Yeah. Big humans are all bad. I mean, all bigger than her. Yeah, they're medium sized humans. They've never seen an adult human, though, so they wouldn't know. いや、僕らは大人とは言えないと思うが。なあ、もう、ますますわかんねえ。くそ。そんなことどうでもいいだろう。this is like the the light-hearted moment before it gets into the real danger right yeah yeah。<laughs> Sometimes you just can't talk yeah. things out. Sometimes you just gotta. Sometimes you just gotta throw hands. You just gotta fight someone. You know. Yeah. 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 Obviously, it's best to avoid a fight. If they attack us, we have no choice. It'd be nice if Agumon could find a way to convince them, though. I think, I think, you know, Agumon? Yeah? Not believe in you as the diplomat that you are. Because they're not going to listen to us. We're human. I, yeah, right. They're not going to listen to us. They're going to think we're lying, so... I mean, you could try and fight them, but I don't really want to fight them. Alright, Florimon, you're, yeah. you're a pretty good talker. Yeah, we couldn't bring, like piece of data to show that yeah we, like if we had like our, like a piece of our candy yeah. man we broke off of her <laughs> she vibrating in fear I, I think so oh all right or anger yeah she's vibrating in anger <laughs> And then I started punching, that's what he's saying. <laughs> yeah, oh no, we're 
hoping you would back down. This feels like, um, when Louis, Huey, and Dewey, Donald's nephews, mm. get chaotic. Yeah. Okay. I guess they're not very good at being guards. I don't know. Like, when we get into a fight with our Kenimon, they'll probably be like, Oh, they were telling the truth and jump in or something now. だが、ほっといていいのか? Okay. <笑>おお。なんか。I bet we can find one. What is a show? Alright, we're gonna act out a play, ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> いきなり物語が始まったりすることもあるんだよな。お前たち、ここからは一歩も通さないぞ。なんつってさ。ありがちだよね。オッケー。それって感じ。うん。ああいうって。ああ、なお。ああ、へいガイズ。ウェルカム
Uh... Now we fight him. <laughs> yeah, we fight Kaido. I think Kaido calm down now. 